So, I bought a $65 hairbrush for my dog. Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes channel. This is our review on the Chris Christensen Big G Coral Slicker Brush. As a lurker in various online doodle forums, I've seen a lot of good info. Um, every once in a while, someone will ask, hey, what's the best brush for golden doodles, right? And there's always this one particular brush that people recommend. The dog brush in question, a certain coral colored slicker brush by Chris Christensen. So I didn't even know that this brush existed until people started talking about it online. And um, apparently this thing is super amazing. As you all know, amazing certainly always comes with a price tag. And that price tag happens to be $65. If you've seen my other video on the Chris Christensen Oval Pin Brush, you might have uh, picked up back then that I thought 20 something dollars was expensive for a hairbrush. But apparently we have this now. So don't get me wrong. I am all for high quality. Uh, the, the pin brush that I have that I bought for 20 something dollars a couple years ago, um, also made by Chris Christensen, um, that was a wonderful addition to our grooming toolbox. With my pin brush, you know, I wasn't so sure that I actually needed to know what a $65 hairbrush felt like, and I was thinking, well, we barely even use the current. Um, slicker brush that we have, which is a cheap old, like, brandless slicker brush we got from probably, like, PetSmart years ago. But, uh, for some reason, one day recently, something in my mind changed, and I was like, well, it's only $65, and look at all these great reviews, and here we are. So, after a few uses of this thing, I'm ready to give my thoughts and kind of review this famous coral Chris Christensen brush. So holding it. So right off the bat, when I like unpackaged this thing and just held it for the first time, I felt the same feeling I had when I first picked up the Chris Christensen oval pin brush a couple years ago. That feeling was, wow, this is super lightweight. I don't know, it just has this nice, like high quality feeling to it. Um, that old one that I have has like plastic grips and ridges and it's like, like I get where they were going with it, but it just it felt cheap, you know? This one definitely does not feel cheap. Like it's super smooth. It feels like it feels like maybe it's coated with some kind of like really smooth silicone or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Don't quote me on the materials used, but it's nice. And I don't know if you can hear this. Yeah. So, it's definitely super nice. It also seems like they're aiming for it to be ergonomic. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit contoured. Probably just, you know, for the shape of the hand to fit ergonomically. How do the pins feel to the touch? Well, I can't say that my old slicker brush was this malleable. And what I mean by that is these pins seem a lot easier to be bent out of shape. Um, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because the pins are longer, or maybe it's because uh, of the way that they're secured into the brush. But either way, uh, you're not getting a very rigid feeling with the, the pins. They are sturdy, but the pins are kind of flexible, I guess. And I think that overall that would be way more comfortable for the dog. Um, so that they're not constantly being like poked with this rigid, hard, prickly thing, right? So the brush will probably be able to glide way easier through the hair and over the skin and not cause as much discomfort for the dog. So yeah, if you can see this, I take my fingers and I just glide them over the pins and they definitely glide a lot easier than my older cheap slicker brush.
So before I even tried this brush on Chloe, when I first unpackaged it, I felt it on my own scalp as well. And I'm not gonna try it here because it's it's Chloe now, like I'm not gonna use her brush, but I tried it on my own head and it didn't feel as good as I thought it would, um, to be honest. It kind of felt like a hundred dull cat claws, just kind of like, I was just kind of emulating the way that I brush my own hair regularly. So in that regard, yeah, like the slicker brush isn't meant for humans, right? So touching a little bit more on uh, when I tried this on my own head, um, I ran it through my hair a couple times and what I can say is uh, that my hair definitely felt way more smooth and soft and silky. Um, I would kind of liken it to like after you get your hair blow dried, right? The heat for some reason like helps your hair become soft and smooth and silky and just running this brush through my own hair a couple times had that same effect on my hair. Okay, so effectiveness at getting out mats. I cannot tell you how good the brush is on deep mats because Chloe's always shaved down every couple months. Um, so she really rarely even has mats at all. So I can't say for sure on deep mats, um, but when I just barely did the uh, brushing session with her a couple minutes ago. She did have a lot of tangled hair. It was tangled, it was knotty. This brush definitely was very effective at, at getting all of that out. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. You can't have this? Say hi! Effectiveness at picking up loose undercoat hair. So I'm going to show you a clip right now just so you can see exactly how effective it was at picking up loose undercoat hair. So keep in mind that the amount of hair you can see on the slicker brush here in this clip is really only from about a quarter of Chloe's body. Now I was also using uh, this comb here, which is the Andis Still Pet comb, but yeah, I would say about half of her body took me about seven minutes, but I didn't do her feet or her legs or her tail or her head. Um, so I would probably say a full brushing session with this slicker brush would probably take around 20, 25 minutes, depending on the size of your doodle. Like 25 minutes every once in a while for a full on like line brushing session isn't that bad. Um, but if you're doing this daily, obviously you're not going to spend that much time every day. You're probably going to spend like a couple minutes tops just brushing the dog down making sure that they're still mat free and tangle free. You are really interested in this brush, aren't you? Now, whether or not Chloe enjoyed this brush, I can't say for sure, but she definitely didn't run away like she used to with the old slicker brush. So I'm guessing it probably didn't cause her that much discomfort, if any at all. And that's always a good sign. So, uh, yeah, we'll just say that she liked it. Huh? Chloe? Okay, so when it came time to clean out the hair from between the bristles, um, I was able to get most of it out just by kind of pinching the, the hair out with my fingers. But then there were still strands of hair, you know, deep down near the base of the brush. So what I did was just take the steel comb and run it through the brush and that was able to get the rest of the loose hairs out okay so was 65 dollars worth it so a lot of the reviews online say that this brush is worth every penny right um it's definitely a great brush don't get me wrong, I love high quality, but I am willing to bet that there are probably more affordable brushes that can do the same thing. I could be totally off base here, but it, it just almost seems like you're paying for the label instead of like the actual brush, if you know what I mean. But hey, maybe I'm totally wrong, 
I'm not a professional groomer, but with that said, a lot of professional groomers actually do recommend this brush for doodle owners specifically. And the reason why they recommend this brush is because it keeps the mats away, which is a whole nother, a whole nother topic. But yeah, with all of that said, I would be lying if I didn't say that I didn't have a bit of buyer's remorse with this purchase. $65 is a lot of money, right? Especially for a hairbrush for a dog. Like... So that was my review of the Chris Christensen Big G Long Pin Slicker Brush, aka the Coral Brush. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys find that helpful and, you know, again, I recommend it, but only if you have the money to spend. So uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. If you own this brush, do you recommend it? Just let me know whatever you feel like talking about about this brush in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Later dudes!